This video is about chemical raising agents and includes baking powder and bicarbonate of soda. Chemical raising agents result in the production of carbon dioxide bubbles and so allow baked goods such as cakes to rise. They include baking powder and bicarbonate of soda. Baking powder contains an alkali called bicarbonate of soda. It also contains an acid called cream of tartar. It also has corn flour or another type of flour to help absorb moisture. When water is added to baking powder, a chemical reaction takes place. This reaction produces carbon dioxide gas in the form of bubbles. The second chemical reaction happens in the oven. The heat causes the gas bubbles to expand, causing the cake to rise further. Flour is used in cake making. Plain flour is also known as all-purpose flour. Unlike self-raising flour, it does not contain a raising agent, which is baking powder. To turn plain flour into self-raising flour, you need to add two teaspoons of baking powder to around 150 grams of plain flour and then mix. Another raising agent is called bicarbonate of soda. It is also called baking soda. It is an alkali and requires an acid and moisture to produce carbon dioxide gas bubbles. Acidic ingredients that can be combined with bicarbonate of soda include cream of tartar, yogurt, milk, buttermilk, lemon juice, cocoa powder and brown sugar. Here's an example of a exam question regarding chemical raising agents. So I've written here that a chemical raising agent is baking powder and to describe how it works I've said when the molecules in baking powder, bicarbonate of soda and cream of tartar, mix with water, the alkali and acid react by producing carbon dioxide gas bubbles. Heating up the mixture in the oven speeds up the chemical reaction, making the carbon dioxide gas form more quickly. The gas bubbles create little air pockets which help the cake to rise. An example of a recipe using this chemical agent could be, for instance, fairy cakes.